What's going on, guys? Chase, ChaseWings.com, coming to you for Friday, October the 11th, 2019. Let's get on a recap, tell you what we got going on for, for Friday. And uh, let's get out of here because it is now about 1.30 a.m. And I'll be honest with you, I have beat long, long day, great day nonetheless. And i um, going to catch a few hours of sleep, 5.30 a.m. as always. Um, but try to get my Friday games done as early as possible. Try to get them posted by early afternoon because um, then obviously I'll do what I do every Friday afternoon, you know, into the later hours. And that is uh, get ready, already start working on college, college, uh, ugh, college football. And we've got a good bit done. And I've got, matter of fact, let's see how much I've got because I was actually working on that during some of the games tonight. And, um, We've got a good bit circled that, you know, has made the – because I always do for, like, NFL Sunday, college football Saturday, because there's so much action, I always make, like, a preliminary list of, you know, circle them and say, okay, from the start, before I actually fully go in and break down 100% of the game, this makes my premium list. And that premium list could be, you know, on any given Saturday leading up to it, there could be – 20 games on it. By the time I finally get done, that's back down to four or five. You know, what truly makes the cut. Um, but so far, games that are still on the list, I mean, because we started out with 12. Um, games that I have circled that I like, initial lines, things like that. Um, what's still left on the list that has not been eliminated yet? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and... That's it. So three more got eliminated tonight. And actually, technically, it's only eight because one of them is an NCAA Game of the Month. Now, that Game of the Month is already on the website, chasewins.com, available for purchase. And the play is already up. The write-up's already there. And I'll kind of give you an idea. I can't give it away. So I am the king of write-ups. Let's see how I want to do this. Fold it to where you can't see anything. This is a full two-page write-up. I'll give you a quick little flash. I'm not going to show you the top of it because that actually shows you what game that it's in. But that's just the first. That's just the first part of the write-up. So right there, full page right behind it. It's already up. I've been working on that one for the last couple of hours. It is up. It is posted. People are already buying it. All the one-year all-access members are already getting it and getting their bets in. My bet is in, and I'll, I'll give you this hint. I will tell you this. It is it is in a 12 o'clock, so a noon game, noon Eastern time Saturday. So the play is up now. You can purchase it now, and you have all the way until 11 a.m. Saturday morning to purchase it. So you've essentially got about 36 hours or just under 36 hours to purchase this game. It will be pulled down at 11. That way I don't have anybody buy it um, and say, oh, well, I didn't get it in time to place my bet, whatever, whatever. Uh, you know, we're just not going to do that. If you purchase it by 11 a.m., there's nobody in the world that should deny you your bet, period. And if they do, find another you know, find another source to place your bets. Um, it always comes with the normal guarantee that we do for games of the month and year, seven days. It's $100. Win, or if not, you get seven days of uh, all premium and daily top plays for free, no questions asked. So it's up, it's there, go get it. I don't really expect a lot of line movement here. There was some line movement. When this line officially came out, we've already seen a couple of points shift. But I was hoping for that. So it worked out in the favor of what I wanted. And I don't really see it changing much from this point. Um, maybe a half point, could be a full point either way. I'm not worried about it either way. Um, if it were to drop, great. If it you know, were to go up a point, I'd still play it um, with just as much confidence. But just in the off chance that something crazy were to happen or the odds makers were to do something stupid, you want to get it you know, sooner rather than later. Don't wait till the last second. I think this is a very, very soft line, and I'm excited for the game. So NCAA game of the year, 12 noon Saturday. That's, that's out of the way. Um now let's get into a recap, because that's really the only big promo that we've got. So, Friday, or excuse me, Thursday. It's Friday now. 
what another fantastic day it was. We had action in college football, in NFL, in, in, in NHL, as well as MLB. MLB, uh, free play, was the Houston Astros on the run line. That was also my top play. So, of course, I didn't mention that on video, but to all that played that game and cashed, you're welcome. That was a top play, absolutely free. I don't do that a lot, but once a month, twice a month, I like to do that just to uh, take care of all the viewers. So, congratulations to everyone that played that. I uh, I had some people, you know, when they got that play, were like, uh, you know, talking about other people wanting to play Tampa. There was just no, there's no, other than the fact that Tampa forced a game five, and that a lot of weird things have happened this postseason thus far, like the Dodgers getting eliminated, there, there was really no evidence or anything that you could actually stand on to place your money on Tampa Bay over Houston. So I hope none of you guys fell for that and played where your money should have been. But most of the time, even if somebody else tells you something, then you deal with the real king of MLB, you know where to place your bet. So 1-0 in MLB. And yet another top play winner. I think that puts us 12 and 2 the last 14 top plays. Might be 13. No? Yeah, that's right. 12 and 2 last 14 top plays. Um, and then two of those top plays being two games of the week from last Saturday. So 1 0 in MLB. Then we get into college football. We had UL Monroe minus 3. It was told to buy it down to 2.5. Whether you did or didn't, you didn't need it. Nice, easy win from start to finish there. They tried to give it away. You know, basically, you know, had it in the red zone. What, four or five minutes to go in the third quarter? Should have put one through, you know, very easily right there to take a 17-point lead. They got a turnover and ended up giving up a touchdown to make it a three-point game. But they ultimately came back and took care of business. Not at any time um, from the very first score were they ever losing or not covering the spread. So 1-0 in uh, college football. We get into the NFL. We took the New England Patriots minus 16 and a half. I've I have played the Patriots every single week this co this NFL season, and I've only dropped one, and that was this past Sunday when they did not cover against the Bills. So guys, right now, until further notice, until they drop or don't cover two spreads in a row, you should be playing the Patriots every game. You can play it blindly if you want to. If they were to go out the next two games and lose both of them or not cover the spread in both of them, that's when you hang off for a week. But even if they, you know, they just covered this one, even if they go out their next game and don't cover the spread, you still play the next one. And if they win, you keep it going. Right now, New England's money in the bank. I mean, I am, we'll see, because out of the, what, five times we've played New England already this year, we've only lost one of them, two of them top plays. I'm up so far with New England, as well as my clients, I would blindly bet New England now without even thinking twice about it. So, an NFL win, 1-0 there. And then we get into the NHL where we had four selections, and we should have gone a clean 4-0, but the Blackhawks just could not hold on. So, we had the Blackhawks and the Sharks over 6.5 goals. That was easy, easy. I mean, that one right there was put your feet up and never even look back. We had the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins and the Anaheim Ducks. Under six goals, I know a few people got it at five and a half because they played it right before the start of the game, and they emailed me and said, I just got it at five and a half. Should I still play it? I gave them the green light, told them to. Another easy winner there from start to finish. Winnipeg Jets, money line minus 130. It was close for most of the game, but they ended up pulling away and bagging a nice decisive win. And then we had the Blackhawks, money line minus ten. The Blackhawks were really doing very well for most of the game. They were winning most of the game. I truly think that they outplayed the team, but I think they went out there and put just a little too much effort into the early going, um, and it wore them down, and you saw it there late in the third period. With about seven minutes to go, they had nothing left in the tank, and uh, I think that's what ultimately cost them the ability to win the game. But no harm, no foul there. Three and one in the NHL. That puts us at 15 and three on the season. Two and zero in top plays on the NHL, and then a six and one day overall with a top play winner on the Houston Astros. So another fantastic day, another day of huge profit, guys. If you're still sitting on the sideline questioning it, how much money do we have to win before you realize that you're not going to find better? How many times are you going to go watch somebody punch a screen and look like a coked up car salesman and realize that they really just don't know what they're doing? 
they don't. They're so worried about what other people are doing and hoping that other people don't have the ability to do something, bringing them down instead of just worrying about bettering themselves. Think about it, guys. Be smart. It's pretty, It's just common sense at this point. And I think all you guys know, at least the majority of you do. Just be careful who you give your money to and make sure that you know when they ask you a question or you ask them a question, they can answer it and they can answer it like somebody that actually knows what they're talking about versus going out there and giving you a trend or an ESPN paragraph or you know running around chasing chasing their tail just to get to their asshole. It's just... A lot of times you can read between the lines of what they're saying and realizing that they're just running themselves in circles. And then when they come out, they're still right back where they started. There was just a lot of words and a lot of jumping around to make you think, oh, okay, well, that, I guess, made sense. Come on, guys. All right. So uh, I think that's it. Recap, 6 and 1 Thursday. Um, getting ready for Friday. And that's it. Game of the month on Saturday. It's already posted. Go get it. 12 noon, 100 bucks, or winner gets seven days. And I think that's it. And I mean, if you're not interested in that, guys, jump on a three day package 50 bucks for a seven day package for $99. Get every premium and top play in every sport that we have for the duration of those. I mean, if you just watch every day, it's money in the bank with the free plays. At least you could just get on the premium and top plays and make a lot more. I think that we've gone out there and proven day in and day out why. Um, you know, we're just the best out there and nobody's even coming close to us right now. So, all right, let's get on a free play. And, uh, everybody's been asking for this. So we're going to do the NHL. Um, let me just double check something here. I just want to verify a line. Let's see. All right, Columbus, Anaheim tomorrow, seven oh five Eastern time. Columbus land a dollar forty opening line. That could change. I actually think we may be able to get that a little bit better, but I'm willing to lay the one forty with Columbus. They are very well rested. They're back at home. Um, they had a nice overtime. Well. They played in a nice overtime game. Anaheim has not only struggled, you know, since the beginning of the season. Um, they went out there tonight and had to play Pittsburgh. But I think that this is their is this their third game in four days or fourth game in five days. Might be fourth in five days. Either way, they're gassed. They've been on the road. You know, they started out. You know, on the West Coast, they came East. They were on the East Coast tonight in Pittsburgh. Now they're just hopping, you know, not a very short distance from Pittsburgh to Columbus, but still traveling nonetheless, playing a hard-fought game tonight while Columbus has just been sitting back doing daily skate arounds and practices and going home and chilling and, and waiting, just kind of waiting for Anaheim to show up. Um, we're going to be seeing a different goaltender for Anaheim. Now, that's not what makes me want to take Columbus because he's still a very good goaltender in his own right. But the experience for this year is not quite there yet. And being that he's not in a rhythm, like a lot of the goaltenders are, you know, in, in hockey right now because of the fact that they've played four, five, six games or whatever, you know, um, that's going to be a little bit of an issue. I think that it puts the, um, the slight advantage to Columbus. But then where I think where the ultimate advantage comes in is just heavy legs. Um, I think that they'll be able to come out hot out of the gate like Anaheim always does. But before we even get to the end of the second period, Anaheim's done, in my opinion. Truth be told, I, I don't see how they could even go out there and play the third period with even 60% of what we know that Anaheim has the ability to play with. 
So I think they're going to come out. They're going to be about a 75% shell of themselves from the start. And with the different goalie, that gives a slight edge to Columbus. So that would probably make it, in my opinion, like a 3-2 game. But then you talk about the heavy leg factor, and I think it's going to be a completely one-sided late game. So when we get into the third period, I think it's completely one-sided in, in Columbus's favor. Um, and I think that's where it goes from a one-score game to potentially even a two- to three-score game. Um, and who knows, maybe they're up by two, and then, of course, we get um, – they pull the goalie to get another man down ice, and Columbus even pops an empty netter in there. I just don't see a world where they're going to come in having to have done all the work that they've done in the past five days and have enough left to truly be able to compete with just about anybody. But Columbus is not a bad team. They're really not. They're not what they were last year because of a lot of different acquisitions and you know, kind of shifting the chess pieces around, but they're still not a bad team. They're not a bad team. They're playing at home. They're beyond rested, and they'll have all the energy and motivation in the world while Anaheim is basically just going to show up, let what happens happens, so they can get home, get a couple of days rest, and then get back to you know going out there and actually having a fighting chance. I think this line can move up. Um, I think we see it above 160, 165 by game time. So get it, get it early. Um, that way, you know, you don't have to. Um, and like I said, first few weeks, I don't mind laying a dollar sixty, dollar sixty five if I have to. Um, and I'll do the same with Columbus, you know, if I had to. But I'm gonna lay 140 right here. That's gonna be it. If you have an offshore book that you know opened up at 150, go ahead and take it. It's a premium play. It's on the card. Columbus Blue Jackets. Minus 140 to 160, whatever you get it at, depending on, you know, your offshore book, because there's still a couple of places that don't even have a line out yet. Um, Vegas lines got it at minus 140, so I'd imagine offshore maybe sitting at 150. Um, like I said, there's your, uh, I mean, there's your free play with a 20-point swing or a 20-cent swing there. I don't ever do that. That's how confident I am in the game. Columbus Blue Jackets money line. Take it, premium play. Go get on the NCAA game of the month. Any questions, shoot me an email, chase at chasewins.com. Let's go out there and absolutely annihilate another day and keep continuing to destroy your bookies. I love you guys. God bless to you all. Bet smart, and I will see you back Saturday college football action, baby.